Hey guys, it's Dylan. Um, I had decided to do a uh, an unboxing of the Waylong GTS 2M. My camera has like has low battery, so it won't let me use it. And I decided to wait to use my phone as a camera. So this is going to be more of my first impressions of the GTS 2M than a words than an unboxing. Now I've never used a magnetic puzzle, so this is going to be a first for me. Well, you can. It moves so smooth. And you can tell the magnets are in there. Wow. It moves so nice. I'm not sure. I don't even remember if I got the, uh, that's nice. If I got the cubicle pro shop, uh, loop. It does turn a little too fast, not too fast, but a little too much. Like, I'm able to, yeah. So I think I may tighten up the tensions. But I do like the feel of it, it's just... I don't want that to happen where I do a double flick and turn into a, a triple flick. Otherwise from that, it feels pretty good. Yeah, it's gonna get some taking used to. Okay, that works. Now, clearly, I'm not the best at this. There are definitely more people qualified for speed solving than I am. Not to mention the loose tension on this thing. Like, considering how I'm able to turn it almost, yeah, there we go, 180 degrees. I'm kind of wondering how far it'll turn without the magnets, because the magnets, they, you have to, like, I know you have to push a little more, a little harder to get them to go, so it slows it down, especially if it has to do it twice, so. Oh no. There you go. I lost where I was. Worst part about um, muscle memory in a Rubik's Cube, you forget where you are. I think this is my third solve. I'm gonna keep it at three. And then I'm probably going to go tension this.
I really like the feel of this. I'm not gonna lie. It feels really nice. It's just, it seems way too loose for me. I don't even want to try using the uh, elliptical one that I have. So I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Um, I brought down my normal GTS 2 to uh, compare it to. Um, my current, the Waylong GTS 2 is currently my main and I use that term lightly because I tend to switch um, between my mains at times. Mainly because I like the way it feels, but at the same time I like the way this one feels. But like, So, like, I, I kind of switch back and forth at times. And one main reason that I brought down this is because of the noise it makes. It also turns when it shouldn't be turning. I believe it's too loose, but just using one finger, it doesn't turn that much. So, I, I kind of don't want to tighten it. Now, I already have lubricant in here, but I put that in a while ago, and I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to mix this up in there. And when I say I know I shouldn't, meaning that I know that I put the, the lube that I have on the, on the core and the um, pieces. So, what this has, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. But it has a ball bearing in there. There you go, you can see it. Um, and that's and what it's supposed to do is, is it's supposed to keep it um nice and fluid so it's not all gel or gummy. So that's why you're supposed to shake it and get that ball bearing moving around. It says right on the front only three drops, so I'm gonna do like three different places. One, I'm gonna turn it around. There's two, and then I'll do one right over here. I think that, yeah, that was definitely a lot more than I anticipated it was going to be. Because I was squeezing harder than I was, and I wasn't thinking about it. Okay. Yeah, this is really watery. It's going straight through everything. I'm gonna hand scramble this, I'll be right back. Now I know this is not how this works, but it's helping my sanity that I don't have. Now the lube is making it feel a little better, but I think it's uh, mixing in with the older lube. 
so I don't think it's as well as it could be, but odds are I'm just going to clean out the pieces anyway. Again, I know I'm not the best at this, my look ahead is terrible, if there is any. Alright, since I've been recording ever since I finished tensioning this, I never really scrambled it, so here it is. Again, I'm sorry for my poor look ahead and not knowing what I'm doing at all. I do like the feel of it though, truth be told. It, it just seems a lot smoother. I, 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 I'm not going to say it's definitely the magnets helping it out, but I haven't got, I haven't really gotten a lockup on this yet, so it could be the magnets. I can't really dispute that. Don't know. I'm gonna do one more solid really quick. And then I, I want to make mention about the, uh, the box I have over here. I was not too impressed with it. Where's that last one? It's over here. Okay, that works. I think I had that time pretty well. I saw I had two pairs. Uh, the reason why I don't like this box is because that on the the back side of it, there's these little mushed points. Now I'm not going to dispute. Um, the cubicle or MoU for it. I'm pretty sure it's not their fault. I'm pretty sure it's USPS's fault. Now, what I really like is that on the inside, I don't know who it is. Um, I have to look that up. It. Um, I have another collector's card. Basically, it comes with everything from the original GTS. Doesn't feel right. I'm gonna have to like lube it immediately or clean out the lube immediately once I finish this. Anyway, um, so this comes with everything that the GTS 2 does and it comes with additional magnets. I think it was only like eight additional magnets in there in case one comes out of your GTS M.
I really like seeing that though. It's a little harder to see on camera, but like, just I, I love seeing the reaction of it go of it like flinging back. Like if you overshoot it, it goes back. And I love feeling the uh, the mag. I, I just love feeling the magnets in general. I try to magnetize my own uh, Valk 3 and that didn't really work out well. I dropped it several times, several magnets are now loose and I had to take them out. Um, but yeah, immediately after this at some point I'm going to be recording my review for the 4x4x6 Fisher Cuboid that I got from Puzzle Crate. Um, so yeah, look out for that. I hope you guys liked it, if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, it does really matter to me, and I will see you guys next time.